Okay, so um, I guess tell us what we're looking at. Okay, so this is a, a, a level that we've shown before. Uh, however, this is the first time we put a hands-on uh, demo for people to try out. You know, I mean, one of the things um, I've been saying for a while is be patient and play the game. And this is finally an opportunity for people other than ourselves to play the game. Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing here is a few missions in. Um, and we've got this concept of uh, this, this world that sits on top of the real world. So, so the game is set in the real world, um, you know, our real world. And then there's this dimension that sits on top of it called limbo. So if we look around, you can see that uh, the people in the real world are kind of reflected in limbo. So you kind of see their ashen figures. They're kind of oblivious to what's going on. Uh -huh. When the demons spot Dante, they drag him into this world to kill him. So in Limbo, the world's alive and it feels like uh, it's like uh, it's got its own blood and bones and it spawns these uh, these enemies to attack Dante, just like a human body would attack a you know a foreign invader. So what we've got here is um, one of his angel weapons, uh, which is called the Osiris. Okay. And with that, that's it's more of a crowd control weapon. So it's quick and it's wide, and you can use it to attack and juggle multiple enemies. And the more effectively you use it, the more it, um, it powers up. And then uh, on, the, uh, on the other side, on the demon side, he's got uh, the Arbiter, which is a much more powerful enemy. It's best used against tougher enemies. So presumably it's a little bit slower than the Osiris. And... That's right, and yes. I'm gonna get up there and rip you apart. So, and also, like, uh, we do use these weapons for traversal. So, for example, as he approached, you saw the platform there, it just kind of pushed itself in to stop Dante. Dante pulls it back out and can use his angel, uh, angel weapon to kind of uh, to lift towards uh, platforms. Okay, so he's, he's not just against demons, he's against the environment as well. In yeah, literally, it's him against the world. I quite like making metaphors literal <laughs> <laughs> well I mean you know speaking of which I mean he just took out that eye which we saw transformed from a CCTV camera yeah there's um, a there's a kind of a big brother theme to the, the world so the world does uh, it kind of transforms and changes and traps down to as you play along it's one of the big differences between this game and uh, previous DMCs great I found the camera locations for this area Best avoid them if we can. Follow me. So, Tom, if you walk around there, like for example in that corner, you see how the world kind of reacts to him. Uh, kind of the malice, the, these elements of limbo, they grow around him as he approaches. Um, kind of react to his presence. Uh -huh. And how does that vary with the kind of different game environment? It's pretty consistent throughout. So uh, different things—I mean, different things do happen in different uh, missions. And oh, okay. So it's not just enemies. So for example, here you've got to shoot these shards out of the way before they they attack you. Mm -hmm. And we like the idea that the that the world feels like it's reacting and breaking up and transmuting in, in front of your eyes. So these are our, um, the, we call them stingers, they're our aer aerial, they're kind of demonic cherubs. So they require you to use more of your traversal ability. So what we want to do is um, try and make the fighting uh, feel more 3D, so it's not just ground-based. And although in previous DMCs you've also had aerial attacks, mm -hmm. in this one we want to just give it a more of a three-dimensional feel, so you can go uh, go up into the air, go horizontally, diagonally, sure. and use the whole of the space around you. So these are tougher guys, and using just your normal rebellion uh, has a very limited effect. So uh, using your arbiter weapon, you can break break through their shield, or using your demon weapon, demon pull, you can pull off their shield and make them vulnerable. Kind of lets you exploit that verticality. Yeah. Excellent. 
Can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the combat grading system in the corner there? Yeah, so this is the first time we're showing that. So it's it's very it's similar to how previous DMCs have worked. So you get you get uh, scored on your style ranking. The better you play, the higher your rank. What we've done is added a bit more clarity to it. So every hit you do is the number of the number the hit points is shown. Mm -hmm. The bonuses are tallied up in front of your eyes. So we want you to learn the system. We want you to actively explore and figure out what works and what doesn't, sure. and uh, encourage you to become an expert. Okay, so there's some more CCTV cameras. Uh -huh. World trapping him. Uh, one thing about the angel and demon weapons, what we're showing here is just one version of each. There will be more in the game, mm -hmm. and each one of them will be upgradable. So the scope of combos and chains you can do is, is, is quite vast. And it's the kind of game that we don't want you to discover everything you can do on your first playthrough. Sure. Uh, the idea is that you can continuously discover things that you never knew existed. Excellent. Cool, well, I think that's about all we've got time for. So thank you very much for, uh, for joining us. Thank you very much.